about here is how to get this background color to not affect the navigation div that I have over here. Well, the problem that we have, if I look at, if I go, I'm using the web developer plugin over here. I, I use this a lot when I'm working with CSS. I'm going to go to an option that says view style information. And here's what I know. If you look up here at the at the nav at the toolbar up here, I know when I select this, everything I have is wrapped up inside the container. So ultimately what I need to do is I'm gonna inside of the container, I'm gonna wrap all this stuff and I'm gonna this will be like my main content. And that way I'll have essentially I have two div tags inside of the container. I'm gonna have my navigation menu div and then my main content uh, div wrapper and then that way what I could do is define a value for my div my main content uh, div which is going to be everything and then I'll also have a separate color for the navigation bar which is going to be the same as um, my background so to start that what I'll do is I'll go to Dreamweaver and I am going to select everything in my form over here. Remember, I don't re actually rely on um, the design view. I'm always, well, you know, you can actually use all this too. I mean, uh, down here where you see all the nested divs inside the menu, I, I need to make sure uh, it's almost there, so I need to include that oh, messed it up okay whatever I'm usually manually doing it anyway I try I always try to find different ways of doing it because um, I don't know ultimately the fastest way is the best way right because you're shaving time off your uh, your development process which is always good anyhow alright so I selected all that I'm going to create a div container I'll create a new one um, a new ID and I'll name it main content all right, make sure it's in my external style sheet. OK. Um, I'll just hit OK. Wrap it around that. And let's see. All right, so just make sure that I put a comment at the end of this. See, already my commenting strategy is, I know it may seem a little anal retentive, but look, I already have two two closing divs in a row down here. So, you know, think about it. When I come back, I'll develop this now. I make, you know, I know I say I develop this now for a client and I upload it and uh, all's well and good. And then two months later, they, you know, write you an email that they want some updates done to their site. Well, instead of having to sit there and kind of try to figure out everything you did again, which I know it's not, doesn't take total amount, you know, like a, an obscene amount of time, but still, you just want to be able to pop into your document and quickly see what everything's doing and that's you know the first staying organized is one of the first and most important approaches to being uh, proficient in web development.